The way we experience the world around us is a direct reflection of the world within us. Gabrielle Bernstein. As we journey to a lower elevation, the clouds roll in above our heads, the cool damp air a welcome feeling. The world is always changing around us on this adventure that we call life. So we got to this new spot and it's actually pretty amazing. The drive up here was pretty cool. This morning is a little chilly, but it's time to make some coffee. This is an old antique, so it kind of doesn't work the best. Grounds get in your coffee, so I like to strain it. Actually, not that many. As the clouds part and make room for the sun, it's time for us to go on a new adventure. Today, we're hiking up the mountain to an abandoned mine, one of our favorite types of explorations. Daisy, look at this big dandy. Daisy, look. 
Why are you trying to eat it? <laughs> Daisy, look! You can see the town from way up here. Probably like the best view in this whole area is at this mine. That's the main mine right there that you can't explore because it's locked up. So the main mine shaft is closed, but this part's open. And I'm not sure exactly how far it goes back, but it's actually kind of cool. There's all sorts of this old miner's equipment. Look at that circuit board. Careful in here, there's nails, everything's wet. Oh, look at that shackle. That's some good overlanding stuff right there. Mine and Brittany's number one rule though for abandoned exploration is we don't take nothing. Leave it for somebody else to enjoy it. No matter how bad you want it. And we've seen some pretty cool stuff over the years. Look at all that mold, that's crazy or spider webs. Should give you an idea of how dark it is in here. I'm gonna turn off the light. It's literally pitch black. Looks like these are drills or something, drill bits. And then some sort of bucket, work, rinse station for all their tools. Definitely a little workshop in here. One point it had electricity and everything. This spot was definitely worth coming up here. So if you're ever in the Ure area and you come up to this little area, mark it down there so you have the coordinates. Take the mile or so hike up here and check out this mine. Yeah, the, the big one's closed, but still, if you come in here to this little workshop, I think it's worth it. I think it's even cooler, because what are you gonna do? Just walk back in a cave and see a giant cave? Here you get to see all their tools and everything like that, so it was definitely worth coming up. You like it? Yeah, it was really cool. It was definitely worth hiking up here for it. It would have been extra cool if the mine was open, but I think that other part was actually cooler because all of the stuff left inside. Yeah, I agree. So we're parked like way down there in that grassy little field. So we're way up here. That was a great hike. It was pretty cool up there. Hope you guys enjoyed that because we enjoyed it. All that cool stuff, old tools, everything was rusted, moldy. I don't know, we just love abandoned stuff. There's a big storm rolling in. I can see it on the radar. So I'm gonna get some dinner cooking, which is actually gonna be breakfast. So breakfast for dinner, one of my favorite things. And hopefully I can get most of it cooked before the storm rolls in and then we are leaving tomorrow, so I have to pack up, which is my least favorite thing because I like just chilling out here and, you know, using everything, but I don't like putting it back away. So we got this crazy storm rolling in. It's getting super dark, so I'm pouring a lot of water, trying to get this breakfast cooked. Hopefully we don't get wet in here. I was gonna cook outside, but this storm came out of nowhere. It was hot today and it just like dropped in temperature out of nowhere. Kind of crazy.
Okay, my bacon's starting to burn. I need to get it out of here and get these potatoes in. But, I mean, crispy bacon's good, right? So, should be fine. Whoa. I'm doing with chili powder, salt, and pepper. That's it. And bacon grease. Simple, easy, and delicious. I set my phone up out there for a time lapse. It's just getting completely soaked. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, got it. This storm is probably the biggest one we've had, but very disappointed in this ARB awning, this touring. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. Look how flooded it is. Seriously, like my feet are in water right now. The whole thing is flooded. All the zippers are leaking. See what these potatoes are looking like? Off my toes. That looks delicious. Look at that. Oh my god. Can't wait to eat that. Some cheesy bacon, onions, potatoes, chili powder. Look, there's somebody out there. I like, why is this man talking to his food? So that makes me excited. So that's gonna stay getting hot. Over here, on this pan, I'm gonna start making this stuff right here. Don't hate, but this stuff's actually good, okay? It kinda looks like dog food, but it's pretty good. Seriously, you gotta try it. If you haven't tried this, Hormel corned beef hash, it's actually pretty good, especially like when you're out here. We like to eat fresh, but when you're in the mountains for a week at a time, sometimes longer, you gotta have some canned foods, especially when you live in a little box. It legitimately looks like dog food. I'm gonna have to try to make some room in this potato pot. Scoot them over. And I'll layer the potatoes in there, or the pancakes. Nice. I think that guy's done. Throw him up in there. There it is, I think it's pretty tasty. Look at that, we got the bacon, cheese potatoes, that uh, canned meat stuff, some pancakes. I got a couple eggs working and that's it. Out in the mountains, nice stormy day. Drop it. These two bucks have been coming around every day. Just chilling around our camp. Literally every day.
Well, that's it for this spot. A nice couple days of rain, exploring the mine. We had some good food, a good time. This little meadow right here was full of wildlife, deers, everything, and we really enjoyed it here. So, um, try to find this spot on the map and link it for you guys because I think it's pretty cool, especially with that mine. And if you enjoyed the video, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next week because we're about to be on our way right now. The adventure never ends as we climb up and down these beautiful Colorado mountains. Follow our journey as next week we'll be back on the top of the world at a new breathtaking location.